Hey guys, this is Vidit here and this is my first YouTube video ever. It is an overview of Microsoft Windows 10 build number 10240. It is the latest build as of 16th of July 2015. The official version is not yet released. It is set to release to be released on 29th of July. Let us confirm the build number first. Uh, as you can see, it is Microsoft Windows version 10 build number 10240. Also, uh, this is a HP laptop which is running at a very basic configuration uh, it is running on Pentium dual core at 2.4 gigahertz with 4 GB RAM I can confirm that information over here there you go as you can see it is running on Intel Pentium CPU 2027 2.4 gigahertz 4 GB RAM also I have installed 64 bit of uh, Windows 10 uh, this is an insider preview I adopted for insider preview and according to it uh, I will be receiving an official uh, Microsoft Windows 10 update on July 29th uh, when it releases. I have been using this Windows 10 since more than a week now. Of course not this build number but I have been using since the build number 10162. And I can say uh, I believe it is the best Windows after Windows 7. I have personally liked it a lot. So let me take you through the new design and few features of the new Windows 10. Firstly the start menu is back. There are all sorts of uh, tiles here from Windows 8 and all the applications are shown over here um, back from Windows 7. These tiles are very much customizable as they were in Windows 8 and the start menu itself can be resized horizontally or vertically however you prefer it. Next here is the new search bar and voice assistant. Simply tap here, it will show you all the daily updates, calendar, news, weather updates, etc. You can also search for the application you are looking for directly over here. It also has the new virtual voice assistant Cortana. Let's test this Cortana first. Hey Cortana. What song is this? There you go. You guessed it right. Uh, you can also ask several other questions like you may ask to Google Now or Siri. It is like any other virtual assistant. Uh, this Cortana is not supported in India as of yet but uh, if you select the region settings to US you can get that easily you can do that by going over here, uh, over here. In time and language region and language you can simply select here United States and you can have the quota of each uh, you can also opt out from this whole search bar being shown on the taskbar and taking up the space by simply going to here and show quote an icon. Uh, it will show only the icon and then when you click on the icon you can see the search bar and it is normal again. It can save you a lot of space on the taskbar. Then we have the multiple desktop options. Over here practically we can add n number of desktops and I believe this feature has been taken from Mac OS 6. It is really useful when, especially when you are multitasking a lot. You, you can have a desktop specified for a purpose. For example, you can have the desktop one as your entertainment desktop. So you can have all the media applications open on desktop one, whereas you can set the desktop two as your professional desktop. So you can have all applications like mail and Word files, Excel files open on desktop two. It is, uh, it comes really handy when you are multitasking and you have multiple roles to be fulfilled on the single laptop or desktop. Then is the file explorer. It simply opens quick access but actually I rather prefer opening my computer so you can simply go and change it over here. There you go. It now opens my computer every time I click on it. We have the browsers then. The best feature of Windows 10 I believe is the Microsoft Edge. We'll come back to it in a while. Let's see what's on the right side. It's the battery's favor. I'm not sure if that really works because I haven't noticed any difference while turning on the battery saver feature. This device is simply put on airplane mode from here. 
the module and the action center, the fix settings now. They come really handy in this time with these quick settings. You can simply switch on and off all these features from your to the browsers. I really love the Microsoft Edge. It loads really faster compared to the Firefox and the Chrome. As you can see, I'm going to open up all three browsers. And the default page on all three browsers is Google. So let's see how fast we are. As you saw, Microsoft Edge is really fast. And I have personally tested all these three browsers and I really found the Microsoft Edge to be the fastest to load up at first. I'm not sure about the browsing. Uh, the websites uh, tend to open at more or less at same speed on all the three browsers, I guess. So that is it about Windows 10, I guess. I have been using for about uh, 24 hours this version, this build number 10240, and I found it to be very stable. I found very minor or no bugs at all. I think it can be used as a daily driver. If you have any questions or queries regarding Windows 10, you may post your questions in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Also, please feel free to post any kind of suggestions regarding the videos I make. Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.